So the big question, uh, which you've rightly started putting and asking viewers, where are the votes? Which areas or which regions of this country are densely populated in terms of registered number of voters? Mm. There's always a difference between the population and the size. That's a, that's a different conversation. In fact, if you want to mirror what we have in terms of our most populous regions by registered voters, it goes hand in hand with what we've data we've got from the Ghana Statistical Service with regards to the most populous regions. And so we seek to answer that question in two legs. The first having to do with regions with 600,000 registered voters and less. And what the numbers say with respect to the two leading political parties and how well they fared in regions mm. in that in that in that nature or who form or fall under this particular category, 600,000 registered voters and or less. less. And there are six mm. regions in that regard, which is on your screen right now, the Upper West region, they are for Western North, OT North, East and Savannah region. A, a quick reminder though that all, a number of these regions like I have for Western North, OT, North East and Savannah, all came to be a part of election dynamics and data analytics after the 2020 elections. But we've painstakingly done the analysis from 96, what the voting pattern has been like. And in, well, if we're going to look at it, the NDC, as compared to the governing New Patriotic Party, has won these regions five times as against the uh, governing new patriotic parties won. So the NDC appears to be doing a lot more in terms of these regions with 600,000 votes and less, and which will, which will show superiority and significance in terms of dominance in these regions as compared to the governing new patriotic party. And I mean, for the Upper West region, for instance, which is one of the regions which has come up strongly, yeah. the NDC has almost always dominated in that particular region. And mm. so what we're seeing in terms of this data set as we have it now is that the NDC appears to do very well in these regions with 600,000 registered voters and less. But we're going to show you another set of interesting facts having to do with the large basket regions, which have to do with uh, regions with more than 1.2 million registered voters. And this is where uh, it will all go down to in terms of how it will look like and the path to victory for each of the political parties. Now, if you look at it as well, six regions mm. with more than 1.2 million registered voters. And like I mentioned in the beginning, the Greater Accra leads with 3.7 million, the Ashanti region 3.2, followed by the Eastern region 1.8, closely uh, followed as well by the Central Same region yeah. 1.7 million, the Western region, and then the northern region. Now, if we want to take these six regions uh, and looking at how many times each of the two leading parties have won, the governing New Patriotic Party has an upper hand. They've mm. won it four times out of the six elections from 96, as against the NDC's two. And so from all indications, the governing New Patriotic Party tends to enjoy uh, somewhat dominance in the regions with more registered voters, mm. which counts for a lot. And I'll give you a bit more example uh, in terms of what it looks like. And I'll, I'll, I want to pinpoint the second most populous region, which is the Ashanti region. 3.2 million registered voters, as we have now, has been the second most populous region in terms of registered voters for a while. And the governing New Patriotic Party has excelled, <laughs> always. Yes. In fact, in the analysis that we should be getting a bit, when we, when we go forward with, with these regions, is the surplus of votes they enjoy from the Ashanti region and how well it is able to wipe out the dominance of the NDC in some of these smaller basket regions. Right. And so if we return to the regions with the greater baskets, you, you tend to see a bit more dominance from the governing New Patriotic Party. And that's when it begins to bring about the questions and the subsequent analysis of how this translates into electoral victory come elections 2024. From what we're seeing, one thing that is re readily seen on the face value is that it makes this election 
one that will be keenly contested and one that despite the polls continue to point in one direction, it might not be that easy yeah. after all. Yeah. Because in 2020, the Greater Accra region, which has been a swing region, uh, showed slight difference. Going with the NDC uh, for the first time and not going to the party that eventually won the elections. The Ashanti region, the Eastern region, they've stayed true mm. to the governing New Patriotic Party. And tallying just these votes, the Ashanti and the Eastern region, in fact, when we go back to 2008, when the governing New Patriotic Party won the Ashanti and the Eastern regions, then candidate Nanado Dankwe Kufuado was yeah. pushing 49% uh, of, of valid vote cast, which suggests the dominance in terms of numbers from just this two. The, the NDC managed to win these regions, but the NPP were just winning the Ashanti and the Eastern region, pushed the elections to a runoff, and then it had to take... Um, I don't want to say divine intervention yeah. in any way or form, but the numbers will always suggest the same. But it had to take extra work done by the, by the NDC to be able to win. And so mm. we'll come back and then begin to chat the course as to what it would take uh, for each of the parties to be able to want to secure a possible one-touch victory, Martin. Absolutely, certainly. And uh, again, mind you that some of these regions before 2020 were bulkier than we have that, now. That was here in the Western, then, the Western North absolutely. region to be specific. And so those two regions that actually are still among the regions with the highest numbers, will look at previous years of elections, what numbers they had vis-a-vis -vis what they have been able to register now. The mm. fact that they've even been redemarcated or a size taken away from them and they're still being able to make it to the top six, that's quite significant to note and why the parties need to intensify campaigning in some of these regions if they want to make the numbers.